Yeah, Chris Perry here for my three-minute hit on Southern Energy. That's S-O-U on your ticker symbols. Uh, Southern Energy is an interesting deal here. It's an oil and gas play. Now, I'm not altogether bullish on oil and gas plays, specifically focused on oil. Uh, I do think that it's a profitable industry right now, but I also think that everyone who's been at the pump over the last six months has gone online and looked at prices of electric vehicles. So I feel like the oil industry is maybe squeezing the most that it can out of us while it still can. Uh, so for me, that'd be something to steer clear of. But the other part of the oil and gas industry is the gas industry. And that's something that's not going anywhere. In fact, as we're seeing in Europe right now, with the Russians squeezing gas supplies to much of Europe, uh, natural gas is actually in an ascendancy. Now, SOU is producing, all right? They're not exploring, they're producing and have been producing more and more out of the wells that they have. They're doing plenty of drilling. They just raised $30 million. This is a $70 million market cap company with 30 million bucks in its hand, producing natural gas that usually comes in uh, around uh, 4 to $8. Right now is at $8. Because of where they're positioned, pipeline-wise, market-wise, they're getting up to 12 uh, so they're in a real good spot right now. Uh, when they raised their $30 million, the stock created a lot uh, because people were selling out at buck fifty to get a cheaper uh, financing and a warrant thrown in there. It just makes sense. So a big rise in the first few months we started talking about it went from about $0.20 cents to buck fifty. It's back down now to $0.84, cents, which to me is a really good place to buy in. Why is that? Because risk-wise... What's the risk? Are they going to run out of money? No, they've got 30 million bucks in the bank. Are the, the resources that they have that they're currently drilling and pulling oil out of suddenly going to stop? No, there's plenty of it there. They're getting good returns on the work that they've done. When the oil industry was in the toilet last year, these guys were out acquiring, positioning themselves when it would come back, and they timed their run to perfection. So you've got guys that are legitimately pulling oil out of the ground at a time when oil is expensive, pulling gas out of the ground, when gas is expensive, their gas in particular is bringing a premium. And, you know, wh where's the risk? Are we suddenly going to stop using oil and gas? Maybe oil, but not the gas. Uh, are we going to uh, be all running electric vehicles in the next six months? Hell no. Good luck finding one. The demand is too much. So is this industry going to suddenly disappear? Well, it sometimes goes through cycles, right? Oil prices do go up, they do go down, and when they hit under a certain level, a lot of oil plays just disappear. And so uh, these guys, they can take it down a lot further down than it is right now and still be profitable because of the gas component. I like Southern Energy a lot. It's not a client per se. We've looked at them as a one-off. We get a lot of people who are investors in that group asking us to cover them. So this is us doing that. Uh, Southern Energy, I like it a lot. SOU, I'm going to be looking over the next month if the price stays where it is, around 84 cents. I think that's a real flaw. And I think that uh, over the next year or two, this place is going to start really ramping up the revenues. I like it a lot. SOU, good Canadian kids.